the the worship just right off the bat was so amazing and to to it was so refreshing to sit in there and to hear the worship and I just stopped singing for a second I started listening and you could hear the whole congregation everybody was a hundred percent in and it was like this is the right place to be you know everybody's just all in on this and, uh, Hey, and welcome to Winning Conversations. We're so glad you're here. We really have a treat for you this episode, and that is Bobby and Courtney Hester. How are you guys? Good. Doing great. Good. Thanks for us. Yes. Now, the reason that we have you guys on is because not only are you new to Heritage of Faith, but you're, you've come on to the podcast team for Winning Conversations and been an instrumental part of us in launching season two. So we're glad. It's kind of the reason you're looking at us right now. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing you you see here would happen without this couple right here. Yeah. This is like going to be an amazing conversation to have because it's the exact reason I wanted to join the podcast team to begin with was having conversations with people I had not met yet. Mm -hmm. And you guys are so new to this church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like this is like before we, I want to ask so many questions. (laughs) 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 I have so much to ask when it comes to all this stuff. It really does. it's such an amazing blessing, but can you give us a little bit of like your backstory into like how you guys, the production, stuff like that, like the skill set, talent stack? Because we, what we're seeing here are your skills coming to life. And that's why we have the lights and the cameras and all of the things going on. So, yeah. So I've, yeah. I've been in broadcasting forever. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know, 25 years, something like that. And I've worked at television stations in Dallas and now I own a production company. And, uh, okay. and then once we started coming to Heritage, just, just ran into Brad and started getting connected and that guy and yeah, yeah, he, <laughs> yeah. that guy. Kind of, Thanks Brad. He's switching <laughs> now, yeah. And if uh, we had time, if we had more time, I'd, ugh. but yeah, it's just been excited to get involved, you know, and do whatever we can. We're, we just love being involved with church and doing whatever we can to, mm-hmm. to help out. So what mm-hmm. kind of things have you done production wise? Um, I've done some short f- films, some pilots a few other things uh my main role with my the business that i own is uh we do uh television commercials and corporate video so okay and, uh, yeah there's several there's a there's one show we've been on for eight years and we shoot once a month and mm-hmm. and uh so anyways <laughs> I think you said you scale like some really small you know where it's just you and yep. another guy and you show up a couple of cameras all the way up to full crews where you're bringing out special equipment group trucks and it's a full-on production yeah. um and then you've been involved in some like you said christian films some small pilots and things like that yeah. so he's kind of any and all of it yeah. and a live a lot of live broadcasting from the television stations so okay ten thousand hours of you know live production That's so awesome. through there so yeah done, done a few a few broadcasts how do you see those skills are unique at least to us you know, we don't have them. We don't have those skills. I do not. No, no. <laughs> so if we remember back to the laptop yes. being open for our first episode, we started there. So they are. You've been laughing at us on our first episode. Yeah. I think for mm-hmm. sure of the podcast first on the laptop episodes. open. <laughs> yeah. It was a fantastic journey. We're uh, glad you're here. <laughs> how do you see, I guess my question is, how do you see those gifts that are somewhat unique? I don't know a lot of people in the body of Christ who do that and do it consistently and do it as a career and do it as, a, as at an excellent level. I mean, I feel like it's like bringing an NBA player onto your basketball team. Like, we'll how do em. you, how do you, yes, for sure. How do you see those gifts impacting the kingdom of God? Um, well, I have several friends that work primarily in Christian films and I, 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 I join them sometimes for shoots and there's some, there's a really cool community of production in Dallas You know, the chosen shot here. There's, there's a studio okay. up in just North of Weatherford and they do all kinds of, there's a whole set that's built around Drew Luson and, and so there's lots and lots of production and I'd like to get into more of that, but I see kind of right now just building a team and funding the kingdom, being, having a successful business tithing, and then okay, carrying those yeah. over as well to um, the church whenever I can, you know, if, if you guys need help with the podcast or you need something else, you know, just to be there for, for those. Well, areas. and I think you've always talked about the excellence. So mm-hmm. everything you do in your business is always to the highest end, the highest excellence. You're always striving to have the best equipment, put forth the best product and service mm-hmm. that you can. And you've 
when we've talked, you've always mentioned um, that that shouldn't be lacking in the kingdom of God. And in fact, we should bring yep. that same excellence to the kingdom of God. And here more than in or ever, should we be putting forth that same kind of excellence and reaching people in that same kind of quality way? Um, and the kingdom of God should not be lacking in that. God's given you those skills. And so to bring it and make sure when that we can do um, production, video, anything at the highest level for him. Yeah, that's powerful. We've had some conversations on the podcast talking about um, the Christian genre on TV and stuff and how sometimes mm-hmm. it doesn't always hold snuff compared right. compared to what the world produces on a regular basis. Right. We've had this conversation have, lots yes. of times. Um, but it's neat to know that God is placing people in those positions. Mm-hmm. How do you see God moving in that community? In that, I, I see it really growing, and I don't know – especially like with the chosen, the, the, the ground that they've broken and that show has just blown up and there's several other shows in the works and it's so cool that it's here in Dallas, you know, and I know several people who are secular and non and, and just have worked on that set and, you know, just, it's just so amazing. I haven't worked on it myself, but there's a, you know, there's just a lot of productions that, that would be uh I see coming down the mm-hmm. pipe. So and coming up in excellence yeah. too, coming yeah. to mm-hmm. a level that mm-hmm. that the world would. I, I, there's a huge demand for it. I know mm-hmm. myself personally. I can talk about my wife and I. We love supporting mm-hmm. that kind of content, and mm-hmm. we'd like it when it's good. There's nothing worse yes. than mm-hmm. turning on Angel TV and going wah wah. You know, what I mean? yeah. like, golly, right. you know, like I know mm-hmm. it's tough, it's difficult, and it's very easy to cast stones from out here saying how come you can't make your production better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a very you know, easy yeah, thing to no, say and complain no about when I have no <laughs> horse in the race at all. Mm-hmm. However, it's fun to see it when people are doing it well. And those mm-hmm. are the things that we, I know we go out of our way to support. Like mm-hmm. if we see someone doing something that is for the kingdom and on that level and in that medium, it's like, I don't want to watch bad stuff. Like, right. I don't want to go to the mm-hmm. movies and mm-hmm. watch bad movies. I don't want to turn on the TV and watch bad TV. So that the fact that it's coming out and there's more of it, mm-hmm. love it. And love I, it. I think... There's been a shift too, and I think in general the pop Christians and just the general population, like you say, one there's a there's a hunger for it. There's a growing hunger mm-hmm. for the Word of God, more Christian content, a, a connection to the Lord and His presence. But then too, I think there's a real um, there's been a shift to see how important it is that if we want that, we have to fund it. And just like we give and tithe to church. These other things are an extension of the church and of the ministry, and it's just as important to give and fund that. And the more people get behind it, the more high-quality production, more high-quality other ministry can come out and reach his people at such a high level. It just takes us all um, being willing to give to that and see the importance of it. Yeah, I so. think my wife has personally bought one episode of The Chosen mm-hmm. with all the hoodies <laughs> and yeah. T-shirts yeah. and mugs yes. and apparel and accoutrement mm-hmm. that we have. This is The Chosen. Mm-hmm. I think, yes. you know, yeah. you're welcome, Dallas Jenkins. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but, all right, chalk one up for the yes. good guys. Yeah. Right. But I think too, I, that's been on my heart lately, too, is to make sure, because um, there's some other, um, to not get it all to name dropping, but there's a lot of other conservative Christian-backed uh, platforms coming mm-hmm. online, and they're starting to be able to fund uh, higher quality content, better content, mm-hmm. more, and really feeling um, called to uh, give to that, to make sure I'm mm-hmm. contributing so that content can continue to come forward um, and and be a light in this world. Absolutely. Because we absolutely mm-hmm. need it. Um, so there was just a couple of things this weekend that I even made sure I downloaded and started looking at, okay, what, you know, can we subscribe to that? Mm-hmm. Do we just make a donation or whatever? But how can we continue to support that so this good message can continue to come forward. Mm-hmm. Right, right. That's powerful. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you guys sound like you've been around the Christian world for a while. Will you tell us a little bit about how you even came to Heritage? This is my favorite part. <laughs> this is the stuff I, I love knowing how, because I know how our journey get here. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to hear yours. I'm, this mm-hmm. is my favorite part. Yeah, so we, we've actually, we've always gone to church kind of far away, and it's always been a long drive. Right. And we've been praying for a while for church, especially we have a 10-year-old boy. And especially since we've had him, we want to get plugged into a youth group that he can do things throughout the week. Mm-hmm. And, and really and, a hunger for local hunger. community yeah, local to community be plugged in. Because we've had connections, really strong connections with our church families in the past. But there was kind of that disconnect between 
having a local tribe and a local community that we really were plugged into. So there was a hunger yeah. for that as well. And we felt like God was really calling us so we've been to have more of a connection. For a while, <laughs> a yeah. really long time. And it's like, Lord, there, there was a church somewhere around, we live in Burleson, but somewhere within 15, 10, 15 minutes, minutes of yeah. Burleson. And uh, one day I was at work in Dallas and Courtney called me and she said, um, Ronnie Howard Brown is going to be in Crowley tonight. I'm like, in Crowley? I can't think of a really large <laughs> yeah, church in Crowley, Crowley that he would what be church at. Is that at? And <laughs> so <laughs> she sent me the address. And, and so I'm like, okay, well, I'll go check it out, you know. And I got here late and uh, just because of all the traffic. And so I got here and there was all the seating was gone. So I, I was just about to leave and I actually hopped in the truck and was about to pull out of the parking lot because they told me there was an overflow room. And uh, I thought, well, I could just watch it online and get the same effect. And no, I, I ended up turning back around. I went in the overflow. And it was amazing in the overflow. Everyone was so engaged and involved and worshiping. And, and then finally, later on the night, some seating freed up. And uh, so I was able to go into the main service for like the last 20, 25 minutes or so. And just really enjoyed the service. And I came home and I told Courtney, I said, well, I really want to visit this church on Sunday. Because if that's the vein that they're in, you know this might be a good fit for us. And so I can't remember. I think I came by myself. I, yeah, or, one more service, I think, yeah. Yeah, and the the worship just right off the bat was so amazing. And to, to it was so refreshing to sit in there and to hear the worship. And I just stopped singing for a second. I started listening, and you could hear the whole congregation. Everybody was 100% in and just the, the congregation was as, as loud as the the musicians on the stage from where I was sitting. And it was like, this is the right place to be, you know. Everybody's just all in on this. And uh, mm -hmm. so the, I guess probably the following Sunday, mm -hmm. I brought you. Mm -hmm. and, and he kept looking at me throughout the service. Like, he kept giving me the side eye, like, do you like it? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Are you in? Yeah. Are you in? And, of course, I'm like, I'm you know, I'm good. I want to just... You soak experience it in, you know, it. I just want yeah. to experience it and, and get involved. But the, the mm -hmm. he um, had come home and talked about how, um, just what a good experience it was and how much the Lord moved, but really didn't get into details. But it was great because then when I came, I experienced the same thing. I noticed those same things for myself that he had noticed and didn't share. And it was just the collective hunger, um, the collective uh desire just to be in his presence and like I said it's like everyone's on the same page we all came for the same reason um for the same goal and everyone was truly plugged in and there was just this authenticity about all of it like it wasn't a show it wasn't a production it and it wasn't on an agenda a time schedule it was we were all here to just be with the Lord for the for that time and you just could feel it and sense it and see it and I loved it like I said, the, the whole audience auditorium was loud and engaged in, in harmony and in sync with the move that was happening all through worship. And then, um, you know, and then, of course, the word was so impactful and so um, meaty. You know, I mean, yeah, really just meaty, scripture yeah. after scripture and just meaty right. and stuff you can just hold on to and have to think on all week long because there was so much to it. Um, and to find, I think, all of that together is uh, such a gift and so unique where you have a congregation all in and hungry for the presence of the Lord. You have an authentic worship experience that's on fire. Mm -hmm. And like to watch Danny worship is just, I mean, he, he's, he's, it's not about show it's, he's authentic and yeah. he's there he, just to worship he and he draws worshiper. you in. Yeah. And then, um, then coupled with such a good word that you know is from the Lord and it's biblically sound and really there to um, ground you in his presence and to help you grow in your walk with the Lord and not just he, you know, for you personally, but then it gives you um, the knowledge to go out and share and be a better witness. Um, and to have all of that in one place, mm -hmm. it, it's, um, it's amazing. And it's, you don't find that everywhere. It's, it's a unique um, I think this is a really unique place that God has put it's together and built and brought us to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And finding that place that was meant for us, because everybody has a place God has for them. Right. But 
for us to walk in. And it was, it was instantaneous of, yeah, this is, this is where God's wanted us. This is where we're supposed to be. And I remember it was pretty early on on the Sundays we went to go pick up Christopher mm-hmm. and they're like, well, we can't let them out yet. The, the kids are, are praying and there's, there was something really big happening. And it was mm-hmm. like, wow, they're, they're not going to dismiss yet because there's a move of God in children's the church. Kids church. Yeah. And, and that's that what we like, wanted. That parents. is what I've been yeah. looking for. You know, I, there's, there's a lot of, a lot of churches we go to and, and I could get some, get kind of what we need to sustain ourselves, but I want him to have that, those the anointing and and the word and mm-hmm. prayer and all that instilled mm-hmm. in him at a young age mm-hmm. and it's like this this is where we belong mm-hmm. that's really so. good I, that was my next question is mm-hmm. did you find what you needed for your son mm-hmm. 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 and it sounds like that's the case yeah. and an immediate connection i mean even um like the third or fourth sunday we came like all the all the volunteers in children's church knew him by name knew us and welcomed him like they've known him for years. <laughs> he immediately made friends. And again, he, you know, coming home and he's learning the word of God and he's learning about giving and learning about the Holy Ghost and all of those things that are so important that, again, it's not like, well, I had fun. Yeah. But it's like, yeah. but are you engaged and do you understand why you're here and the importance of it? Mm-hmm. And what was really cool is even the other day at school, he had an opportunity to witness to a couple of friends at school and just talk about forgiveness and stuff. And it's, it touched my heart as a mom. It's like, wow, there's really um, foundational things being instilled in him. And that's amazing. That's awesome. That's a atmosphere that your home also carries Mm -hmm. that you've been able to, that's why he connects so well with Mm -hmm. it is because parents that have, you've seen this serving Mm -hmm. in kids, parents who have that, that altar, that place of worship Mm -hmm. at home really make, those kids come in and they f- they flow right into it, mm-hmm. just like Christopher did. Um, you had mentioned before in different conversations that you were connected with Rodney Howard Brown. How so? So um, I think the first time I I was I saw Rodney Howard Brown, I was in high school and I was really going through a lot of stuff. And uh, I went to one of his meetings. Uh, my mom and some friends of us, friends of ours, took me up there, and. I was hurting really, really bad, and Rodney called me out, and he prayed for me, and it broke a lot of things off me, and ever since then, I've kind of, you know, we didn't have internet back then, but, you know, whenever I could, I would, I would, if he'd come to town, or, or, and he was on television for a little bit, but I was always kind of had a connection with him, and then later on, in 99, uh, we went to his New York, our youth group at the time went to his crusade in New York, and we ministered there for a week. So, a week, and and we we walked the streets and passed out tracks and that prayed for people cool. and um, met all kinds of people in need. And so there was a great crusade there. And then after that, um, was it a year later? Yeah, I went year. to his Bible school in mm-hmm. Tampa, Florida. Okay. And then and then, uh, and then came back and married Courtney. So. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> but we've That's always so had cool. a connection with Rodney, right. you know, going way back. And then, of course, when we heard he was going to be here, we had to. Yeah. Say, you know, well, check him out. Mm-hmm. just on the backside as as staff, when that meeting came about, mm-hmm. uh, I think they were looking for a facility big enough to uh, accommodate. And they had gone and gone and gone and, and either timing or facilities weren't available or stuff. And they'd come to the Savelles and it had been like, yeah, you're well, you're more, you're, our doors are always open. However, our sanctuary sits about 340, you know, mm-hmm. like there's yeah. the here are the natural the natural limitations we have, but there was such a uh, urgency, I think, for the team and and um, the Seville's and the Bridges mm-hmm. to to say no. We need to have this meeting, no matter how we do it, no matter where we put overflow. We need to make sure that this happens here. So the fact that you guys are fruit from that that have been such a such a um, precious and grafted family into our church means a lot to us sure so um why don't you ask the last question before i tear up over here okay wow you okay i am want to talk about it so yeah (laughs) i just love Um, you guys there's just such a uh kindred spirit that you have mm -hmm. i mean i know you guys are plugged into thrive group and you're plugged into this team and every time i I get a chance to get to know you more there's more of a a god connection to you Mm -hmm. guys so um know that i mean i could talk for longer and the timing is running out so anyway well, go go for it <laughs> <laughs> well I, did, I mean for me personally like regardless of your skill set which you guys obviously are right your cup 
runneth over, you know, mm-hmm. and we are so happy to have that, but take that away. And I still love why you're here. Like, I still love what you're getting here. What mm-hmm. made you come here? Everything else is a bonus, but like, I've had the pleasure of teaching your son, you know, my mm-hmm. wife and I have taught your son several times. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, we, I remember the person we met, I'm like, oh, that guy's going to be fun. He's, yeah. And he's, yeah, he's, and, he's a spirit. He's yeah. awesome. Yeah. We have, uh, there's, we have a collection of people that have that same kind of, again, we love having them and mm-hmm. you're hundred percent right. Like we will take time to make sure that the kids are getting what they need to be getting. And like mm-hmm. what you're receiving in the main auditorium, we want to make sure oh, that yeah. these kids are getting it. Absolutely. And it's from like, you know, pass your hand down. It's a, I mean, top down, but mm-hmm. like, you know, it's a real culture here. And that's what I love that you guys have discovered and like, like really touched on to is like the importance of being where God's called you, the importance mm-hmm. of being in his presence and the importance of being in a house that's chasing after that. Like, mm-hmm. cause like there's so many good ministries in our area. Let's be honest. There's a Hundreds. lot of, there's mm-hmm. so yeah. many, there's, I, I can count 10 that are just phenomenal churches mm-hmm. that I can tell you right now, if you weren't going here, I would recommend them immediately. Like these are great houses. This is a great church, great pastors, mm-hmm. great leadership, great teaching. For me and my wife and all of us, none of them are better than this. Mm-hmm. And it's I love hearing how people got here. Me too. So so you might know this. But every podcast <laughs> 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 the theme to this house, the statement that this house was not that the statement, what would you call it? The the motto. The motto is the better word for it. I yeah. couldn't think of motto for some reason. Vision. It's a tough word. Is making winners in life. That is one of the big things that Dr. Savelle has been doing forever in his ministry is that is the the driving force to make you a winner in life that's what we stand on it's the motto it's in the back of our church you have not been to our church so you see it now Mm -hmm. so we like to ask everyone what does that mean to you individually i think for me it's it's walking in his perfect will you know just and whether you know it's a successful business or outreach or whatever whatever his will is for me if i'm walking and following him that makes me a winner in life you know yeah I think for me it's thriving um so not just surviving but really thriving and growing and being um at the best place that um God has for you so I just uh we kind of talked at the beginning about excellence so just being at that place in your walk with him of of just thriving in every area of our lives. Those are some sweet, awesome answers. I love this question. I really do. <laughs> it's so good. I love hearing it. why everyone, like it, everyone's different. Right. And it's such a cool thing to hear. This was so fun. Did you guys have fun? Oh yeah, time. absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I hope you had fun because you're going to be a part of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please tell me you had fun. Yeah, um, this is amazing. We've been with this now for a very short time already, just in a few weeks, but already um, it's, been very moving to my spirit and I've already got to know you guys on a a deeper level and some other people and just truly enjoying it and already hearing such great things and it lifts my spirit I mean this is almost as fulfilling to my spirit as hearing a sermon or a worship song this um, touches my spirit just as much so I think this is a great ministry and I'm so happy that we're going to get to be a part of it we're blessed to have you and uh we're fans we're fans. <laughs> We're fans. Um, Immediately fans. Yes. Well, this is exciting. Um, we are, had so much fun. And you guys are the last ones to do the Turn the Tables. You were the last mm-hmm. part of this amazing collection of rag <laughs> that had come together for this, yeah. which is such a blessing. Um, so thank you for being a part of it. Thank you for finishing up the Turn the Table series. And for everyone that is watching, thank them. Mm-hmm. Everyone who is listening, we thank you as well. Uh, we hope you come back here next Friday where we get back to our special guests that are in the house of heritage yes that's gonna be fun too so so we we are really excited because we have a really great lineup of guests come in that are gonna come that that have been like people that i cannot i was so excited to have once we had cameras once we were on video because their stories are really impactful so season two is coming with some heat yeah Right, some heritage heat. Coming in strong, (laughs) don't say that. Don't use that. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys, and we'll see you next Friday. Okay.